Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day eight of our look back at some forgotten favorites. Going back and looking for the more obscure, picking out favorite albums from albums that didn't get a lot of attention back in the day, or maybe recent albums that kind of got ignored, maybe came out on a very small label. Obscure, underrated, that sort of thing. They've been forgotten by most people or never discovered. But to us, they're favorites, right? So today we're going to take a look. Uh, I'm kind of taking a look at two albums today because I really wanted to feature this band this month. But for, to me, they got two albums that I really dig a lot. And this band, unfortunately, uh, never got big at all. They're from Australia, for one. So in this part of the globe, uh, probably not a lot of people know about this band. But two very, very cool records in their discography. You could arguably say they have a couple others, but I like their kind of shift towards harder-edged rock and psychedelic rock. 1971 and 1972, uh, one of these albums recorded at Abbey Road Studios in London, England, as a matter of fact, and uh, produced by Jeff Jarrett, not Jeff Jarrett from wrestling fame. Columbia Records in Australia, Regal, Xonophone in the UK. Um, talking about Choice Cuts and Toast to Panama Red from the Master's Apprentices. That's right. This band basically got started as a kind of like a pop band, right, in Australia. And then all of a sudden they discovered some hard rock muscle and some psychedelic might with these two albums. And then they would go away for many, many years, right? These would be the last two albums we would see from them for decades until I think the late 90s. Uh, and they got like this, the first two albums, much, much more pop records, right? The uh, late 60s pop records. So for these albums, we have the lineup of the band featuring Jim Key, Keys, Keys, Jim Keys, Jim Keys, 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 K E A Y S, Keys, however he says it, on lead vocals and sound effects and things. He's got kind of like a higher pitch voice. Not quite Getty Lehigh, but somewhere near there. Doug Ford, electric and acoustic guitars, backing vocals. <clears throat> Glenn Whitley on bass and backing vocals. And Colin Burgess on drums and backing vocals and percussion. Uh, so these two albums, like I said, were released in 1971 and 72. And uh, I do want you to get a cool look at this album cover. I'm going to get you a little closer up on Choice Cuts. Actually, both of them are pretty damn cool. Uh, because this is a hypnosis album cover. <clears throat> Look at that. It's kind of like the Invisible Man in the Chair. All right. You got the hand with the cigarette. The rest of the body's gone. And then the other album cover, Toast of Panama Red. It's right there. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Get a look at some of the guys. So, yeah, like I said, anyway, uh, this is bluesy hard rock, but with a like, very big psychedelic slant to it now as far as the two albums go they kind of sound a little bit different from each other uh you've got choice cuts is definitely the heavier of the two album albums and uh, here you've got very riffy early early 70s hard rock uh rio de camaro michael easy to lie because i love you caddy is really cool that's a good rocker uh, our friend owsley stanley the third death of a king Song for a Lost Gypsy, you got two parts of that that supposedly was their kind of like um, homage to Jimi Hendrix who had just passed away. Uh, on Your Satisfier is really good, that's also pretty good. Um, great guitar work, really good guitar work. <clears throat> Lots of cool effects on the vocals and things. It just sounds very much like it's of its time, but just good psychedelic heavy rock from the uh, early, early 70s. You know, Time to Rhyme, another great, well, that's on the other album, but uh, it's a really cool psychedelic rock. But um, <clears throat> the the other album, uh, Toast to Panama Red, is much, much more of a psychedelic record. So it's not quite as heavy rock as the album before it, as Choice Cuts, but there's all sorts of trippy passages and guitar things going on, and it's definitely the more adventurous of the two. It depends on kind of what you like, but uh, you got like Answer Lies Beyond is pretty cool. Beneath the Sun, then you got the games we play part one and two. 
very cool song very cool guitar soloing going on there like i said it's atmospheric it's trippy and there's little heavy sections but it's just a very good psychedelic rock song uh the lesson so listen love is melodies of saint kilda another really great track here southern cross i like in time to rhyme like i mentioned before it's another good track so i think they're both well worth checking out one like i said is heavier than the other one is more heavy one is more psychedelic but put them together really really good albums and it's just amazing because I, I don't own the first two records but I remember when I got these and again if you're an Opeth fan Michael Ackerfeld is a huge fan <clears throat> of these guys in fact named the song after them as he's done that quite a bit over the years he loves these obscure like 70s uh hard rock and psychedelic and prog bands right and folk rock bands so he goes and interjects things here and there in the Opeth catalog but um I went and before, after I got these years ago, I went and listened to those first couple of records. And I'm kind of like, yeah, it's not really for me. It's just amazing how different uh, this band became starting with the Choice Cuts album. So, yeah, a cool little oddity from Australia, 1971-1972, Choice Cuts and Toast to Panama Red from Master's Apprentices. Go check them out. I think if you like uh, early 70s heavy and psychedelic stuff, I think you'll find lots to, to dig here. Really, really good stuff. Uh, really cool band. A lot of really neat little uh, effects being used on the guitars and things. Like sometimes you'll be almost be kind of like, oh, there's some flute going on there and some orchestral things going on. But lots of layers here. Very, very cool stuff. So go check it out. If you've already heard them, let us know what you think of them down in the comments below and list your pick for today as well. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell to so get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we've got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance, as always, for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. New album reviews coming up today. So don't touch that dial. Till then, have a good one.